Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to discuss factoring sum and difference of two cubes. Here are the steps in factoring sum of two cubes. So first is we need to get the cube root of the first term. Then second, we need to get the cube root of the last term. And then third is we need to... Third, the first factor is F plus L. Okay, F meaning the cube root of the first term, L being the cube root of the last term. Okay, then fourth step will be in three parts. So first factor multiplied by squared the first minus the product of the first and the last plus the last being squared. Here are the steps in factoring difference of two cubes. First is to get the cube root of the first term. Second, get the cube root of the last term. Third, the first factor is F minus L. Fourth step, the first factor multiplied by squared the first plus the product of the first and the last plus the last term being squared. Okay, so now, here, if you are still not familiar with the pattern so when you encounter sum of two cubes okay so we are going to follow this pattern create the two factors of this binomial and the operations para hindi kayo malito will be in this order ayan so the pattern will be in this order so we will copy plus minus plus that will be the pattern for the the sum of two cubes. Now, for the difference naman, okay, for the difference, this will be the pattern that we are going to use. So, we will copy the subtraction symbol in this small group. And for the other group, it will be plus, plus. Okay, so this is what I use in order for me to remember the pattern or the symbols for sum and difference of two cubes. So, let's move on to our examples. Okay, so let's have an example. For example, we have x cubed plus 8. So, so, in order for us to factor this, okay, we know that this is a sum of 2 cubes. Because x raised to 3 is a perfect cube and 8 is also a perfect cube. So, in order for us to factor this, we need to get or identify the first and the last. The first is the cube root of the first term and the last is the cube root of the last term. So, First step is to get the cube root of the first term, and that is equal to x. Okay? When getting the cube root of a variable, you're just going to divide the exponent by the index. Okay? Next is we are going to get the cube root of the last term. So the cube root of 8 is 2. Now, Third is we're going to get the sum. Knowing that this is the sum of two cubes, the first factor will be x plus 2. We will just add the first and the last. To get the second factor, we need to place it in another grouping symbol. Now, first step is to square the first. So we're just going to square the first. So x squared. Then Next is minus, minus the product of the first and last. So we will have 2x, then plus the square of the last term. So we are going to square the last term and that is equal to 4. So this will be our factor of the given polynomial. So our final answer will be the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 2x plus 4. Okay, so let's have another example. For example, we have 8 cubed minus 27. So in this case, we're going to find first the first and last. Okay, first and last. And in order for us to do this or to find this or to get this, in order for us to get this, we need to get the cube root of the first term and the cube root of the last term. So the cube root of the first term is A and the cube root of the last term is yeah, 3. Okay, so now that we have the first and the last, okay, since the operation is subtraction, we're going to have our first factor 
which will be a minus 3. Now, to get, get the second factor, okay, we must follow the, the three steps in order for us to get the third factor based from the first and the last. So, we need to get the square of the first term. It will be a squared plus or plus the product of the first and the last. Okay, so we have 3a plus the square plus the square of the last term so the square of 3 is or the square of the last so the square of the last is 9 so this will be our final answer okay let's have our example for example we have x raised to 6 plus 125 y raised to 9 so in this case we're going to Again, identify our first and last. So first and last. And in order for us to get the first and last, we must get the cube root of the first term and the cube root of the last term. Now, in this case, we need to, in getting the cube root of the variable, we just need to divide the exponent by 3. So our first will be x raised to 2. While our last, the cube root of 125 is 5. And the cube root of y raised to 9 will be y raised to 3. Next will be, we need to add the first and the last. So we're going to add them. So we have x squared plus 5y raised to 3. And then, we need to prepare our, our second group. We need to prepare our second group. So for the second factor, it will be the square of the first, so x squared being squared minus product of the first and the last. So we have the first times the last and then plus, okay, square of the last term. So 5y cubed squared. Okay. Now, we need to simplify this. Again, copy x squared plus 5y cubed, 5y cubed times the quantity of, again, apply the loss of exponent, power rule. So, we have x raised to 4 minus 5x squared y cubed. Then, we will have plus 25 y raised to 6 and this will be our final answer Eto. okay okay so let's again. have another example for example we have a cube times b cube minus 64 so in order for us to factor this we need to identify our first and last so, in order for us to get the first and last, we need to get the cube root of the first term to get the first and the cube root of the last in order for us to get the last. Okay, so simplifying this, okay, the cube root of a raised to 3, b raised to 3 is ab. So, we're just going to write the first is equal to ab. Now, the cube root of 64 is 4. Okay, so we write 4. Now, we will put them in one factor. Looking at the operation, subtraction, we're going to have our first factor as AB minus 4. Now, our second factor will be, or the other factor will be, we will follow the pattern. So, first is we need to square the first. So we have a b being squared, okay, plus the um the product of the first and the last. So a b times four plus the square of the last. Okay, now we will apply it. Okay, simplifying this, we will have. Okay, we will just copy ab minus 4 times the quantity of a squared b squared plus 4ab plus 16 and this will be our factored of 
factored form of our given. Okay? So that's it. Now that you already know how to factor the sum and difference of two cubes, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to practice your skill. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.